We're covering every angle of this tragic story. Let's start with Matt Petrillo, who's in our satellite center with the very latest on the investigation. Here's his report. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are now sifting through the debris left from Kobe Bryant's charred helicopter. Pieces of it are scattered across the size of a football field. Two Echo X-ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for uh, flight following at this time. Dispatch audio captures the moments before the crash. We do know there was an issue of visibility in a low ceiling. The actual uh, uh, conditions at the time of impact, that is still... Uh, yet to be determined. The helicopter went down in condition so foggy the LAPD grounded its helicopter fleet Sunday morning. But CBS News learned the pilot had asked and was granted special permission to fly because of the low visibility. The weather's a factor here. John Gagliano is a former Navy pilot and an aviation attorney based in Philadelphia. He says fog could be dangerous to fly in, but he also points out investigators will be examining every piece of evidence with a fine tooth comb. Pilot history, aircraft history, maintenance records, um, history of problems with uh, the instruments and the autopilot. Ray Zoxline is a former helicopter pilot with the Philadelphia Police Department. He says one bad mistake in the air could be fatal. It's a heavy machine uh, and you're going at about 140, 150 knots, which is close to 200 miles an hour. Things happen awful fast. And there is another unusual development in this story. The rate of descent of that chopper before it crashed. We're digging into that. We'll have that part of the story coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live in the SAT Center, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.